Well, the, the improvisation is quite present present in my work, in my musical work, uh, in my methods, in my rehearsing method, and it's uh, quite present in my reflections on uh, how I want to play or what I want to do with music as well. Uh, even if when I want to build a more, uh, uh, a more structured music, like a song, for example, uh, the, the improvising is on the base of that uh, process, on the creative process, of course. And it's always a searching. I'm searching for these sounds, for textures, always uh, searching for something new that I wasn't aware so that I think that's a really it's a beautiful discovery when you found wow I can do this with my instruments so uh, when I, I I finished my uh, my studies I was in this, you can say it, classical school. Actually, I decided it was time to finish this uh, academic school and I want to go to a different uh, way. I, want, I was so curious about uh, their sounds, uh, their, uh, their process of making music, besides this uh, formal thing of having the sheet, the paper sheet, and you have to play like this, the dynamic here is like this. So you, when you are in school, the, the, you are always oriented to do in a, this type of way. And I was feeling this need to, to search for new, new languages, or a new language for myself. Uh, I wanted to say different things and I wasn't allowed to do it with these paper sheets, with this formal uh, thing. So that's when I, this curiosity led me to, to found new musicians, uh, new techniques, and I research uh, especially cellist, cellist players. Uh, like for example, uh, I had this big reference that it is Tom Cora. It's dead already uh, because he, he really makes this. It's like this tasty uh, fruit salad. <laughs> I don't want to be offensive, but it's really interesting the way he makes rock with experimental and sometimes a little bit of this. You could say more a classic melody, and it's it, for me it's the big reference and. and and then as well Arthur Russell, more for this uh, song format and uh, the sounds that it, it manipulate with the electronic as well. For me it was too cellist, very interesting. And here in Portugal, uh, Miguel Mira, that is uh, quite uh, this cellist with so much power and uh, Ricardo Jacinto, and I hope I'm not forgetting, and maybe I'm forgetting, but I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's when I I went to Mia. So the first time I went to Mia, this improvised uh, music festival at Atogia da Baleia with these two, these two very gentle hosts, Paul Chagas and Fernando Simões. Uh, I was quite amazed. It was like, wow, what, what is this? Because at, at that time I didn't have so much uh, uh, experience in uh, projects of improvised music. Some days after the festival I was so full of questions. What is this? What's improvised music? What are we trying to say? What do I want to say? So it was, and it's good to have these questions because I think it's, it's it's part of the growing process of you, you trying to find yourself as a musician. And after that I start playing with the projects in a more continuously way. Uh, like trios or a duet with uh, Gilles Dionisio on the violin. 
And I like this process of uh, continuity. Because even if it's non, it, it's informal music when you don't have like uh, writing uh, compositions, you are always um, searching for some new answers. You are always putting new questions over the table. And he, he, he's like, it's part of the growing process as a musician and uh, to know how to, to make a, converse, a music conversation and to respect the other and you, you will learn it. I, uh, there are probably there are some reasons for that. I, I think it's the same way you choose your friends. I don't bother to argue or to make a conversation with a, a, a person that I know that it's very, very stupid. I don't even bother. Uh, so, uh, for the same reason, I think you, you well, well, metaphorically, I think it's the, the way you choose your, your uh, people that you want to play because you, you think that it's interesting people and the, the sound that they create or that they generate is it's quite interesting it can bring you some new things to you as well i think it, it has a lot to do with the circumstances sometimes or someone invites this group this ad hoc um, formation okay you will play tonight and you can agree or you can or you disagree you say i don't want to that's not i don't i don't feel i'm not interesting but normally uh, when that happens with me uh, i'm i try uh, i'm always open and uh, because we we have so many good musicians and that i really want to play with and unfortunately unfortunately with some of them the the opportunity it didn't arrive yet but i know and i hope that in the future it will happen in a very cool circumstance and we could make music and get to know each other better. I think it has, um, it, it's going somewhere, of course. Uh, we have, I think it's quite flourishing. We have uh, some labels here in Portugal, we have more spaces that are mostly dedicated to improvised music or not, or they have this uh, time for improvised music. So if we, we keep growing, I think it's always healthy. It's a healthy path to, to go and to, to create this um, and to grow this community because I would like to see it as a, a community of people that have this, this, these ideas about music and about the freedom on music. Because it's not just in Lisbon, it, it, it's, it's, it's in all over the country. Well, I, I could say about the major cities, I don't know about the others, but I think it's, it's, it's growing. And I would like to see a, a, a growing audience. I think it, it will be good if we could, um, uh, if we could play for a growing audience, a more distinctive audience, more eclectic audience.